All right, let's take a look at Android Studio and setting it up so that you can start using Kotlin, the latest programming language that Google has recently approved for Android development. First things first, we need to configure the Kotlin programming plugin. So from here, we're going to go to configure and select plugins. Then down here, we want to select install JetBrains plugin. From here, we're going to search for Kotlin. Once we find it, go ahead and click install. Once that finishes downloading, go ahead and click close and then click OK. And now it's going to ask you to restart Android Studio. So go ahead and do that. OK, once Android Studio has restarted, then let's go ahead and create a new project. And we're just going to go with uh, dummy app. Click through. I'm going to select an empty activity and then click next and then go ahead and finish. All right, now with this new application, let's go ahead and navigate to the main activity Java file. So at this point, what we need to do is convert this so that it converts from Java to Kotlin, the new language that we want to program in. So the one way to do that is you can press Control shift a to get to the action in order to search for an action. And we want to do convert Java file to Kotlin file. Or if you go to the code menu and then convert Java file to Kotlin file. So that's going to start converting that. OK, now once this is converted, you'll notice that when you start to edit the file, it's going to prompt you saying Kotlin is not configured. So let's go ahead and click Configure Android with Gradle and go ahead and select All Modules. And this will choose the latest version of Kotlin that you've got installed. Go ahead and click OK. Once that's done, the Gradle file will be updated at which point you'll want to sync this in order for it to compile. Notice <clears throat> that it's got the uh, Kotlin library and other dependencies added for you. So let's go ahead and click Sync Now. Once that's completed, it takes a few minutes the first time you do this because it's downloading the dependency jar files that are required to compile the Kotlin source code. So it may take a few minutes the first time, but afterwards it will uh, start to compile much faster. So now you're ready. You can go back uh, to your main activity and start coding in Kotlin. You can create uh, new Kotlin files, um, create a Kotlin activity. And these are some other items that we're going to review in some upcoming videos. All right, so there you have it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll catch you on the flip side or something. <laughs>